Again, I would like to welcome you to ITSC 2309. In this module, we'll be looking at creating the database that will be used for the lab. At this point, the sample base should have been established. Now, we will begin the process to create the actual database to be used in this lab. We will begin by stating that the information needed for the lab is located in the Blackboard website. That is located off the ACC main website. You log on to Blackboard using your student ID parameters. Within that process, you will see the classes that you are enrolled in. You will select the ITSC class, ITSC 2039 class you are enrolled in. You will also select the competency module item. From there, we will drill down to selecting competency one and within competency one you will see the learning procedures lecture materials tab selecting that drilling down through there you will see the watch and do it file within this item you will see that there are instructions on downloading the Oracle 11G tutorial you will see some other information you will also see a list of all the files needed to create the tables and the data associated with the tables for the database it is important to begin with the fact that we recommend that you open all the files using Notepad, print the files, the data, for future review and analysis. You can also download these files and save them into some appropriate directory for your convenience. For this process, there will be five tables that will be created. There is the customer table, the orders table, the items table, the stock table, and the manufacturer or manufacturer table. There are several ways that we can do this. We can type the information directly into the SQL prompt. You can use a copy paste method which is a line by line process. You can also do a load import script process. Whichever one you choose is okay depending on what your comfort level is. We will begin by selecting the manufacturer file off Blackboard. You will see that as you open it in Notepad you will have this instructions. You will do a copy paste scenario and you will see this item where you will paste it into the SQL script in the SQL workshop. At this point you will run the you will press the run button. You should see a table created at the bottom left. This process will be continued for all tables. It will also be continued for the data process. We will also be looking at the upload function. This is a little bit more involved. It requires you to select the SQL script process. Here you see an upload function. You select the up upload function. You will be required to use the browser button to select the file location. You will select the file location in your appropriate directory. At this point, you will see the file name that you have selected. You will do upload. At this point, you will see where the information is listed. You will select the file name. You will press create and then you will use the run function. At this point you will jump to the browser object tab. There you will select the manufacturer table that shows. The data processing follows the same methodology. You select the item, you insert the item, and you can also see the data as it is loaded. For those of you who are brave, there's also the utilities tab which allows you to use the old fashioned create table line by line. You use the utilities function, you select the table, and at that point you're able to create the tables in a table field line by line description process. It is not recommended at this point, but I show this to you because you'll be using this later on to create some tables and other processes. This ends this portion.